New video shows the moments a Pettis County deputy opened fire, killing Hannah Pfizer during a traffic stop. The deputy says Pfizer threatened to shoot him, so he fired his weapon. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez talked with her father today. And we have a warning for you. This video may be difficult for some of you to watch. These cameras recorded Hannah Pfizer's last moments alive before a Pettis County Sheriff deputy shot and killed her during a traffic stop in June. 41 Action News has obtained a copy of that video. It is hard to watch that not even her father has done so. Months later, he feels like her death may not be in vain after all. I don't feel like I can watch my daughter be murdered. The only video that exists of the fatal traffic stop shows the Pettis County Sheriff deputy trying to pull Hannah Pfizer out of the car. And I know that little 140 pound year old girl was no threat to him. But it quickly escalates with the deputy firing his weapon five times, killing Pfizer. No one renders first aid to the 25-year-old woman until paramedics arrive almost seven minutes later. And I don't even know if I have any words for that. It, is, it, it makes me sick in my stomach. A special prosecutor in the case ruled the shooting was justified, even though Pfizer wasn't armed. That prosecutor said the lack of any other video than this one made the decision tough. The deputy who fired the deadly shots is back at work. Yeah, I think the, the guy needs to go and uh, and anybody else that's a liability, not just him. We sat down with Captain Tolbert Rowe, who oversees operations at the Pettis County Sheriff's Office. Since the shooting, the agency is making crisis intervention training a priority. The more you slow it down, then um, the more likelihood of a better outcome. With this situation, sometimes things happen very, very fast and a lot of time to draw that down and drag it out may not be practical. The department has also purchased 23 body cameras that every deputy school resource officer in bailiff will wear while on duty. And so far, dash cameras have been installed in two of their patrol vehicles. The entire situation is a tragedy, and I, I told someone that knew Hannah that I continue to pray of the family, and our hearts still go out for them. At the beginning of the new year, the department will have a new sheriff, who Pfizer's family says has promised them change. I don't want, ever want this to happen to anybody else, because this is, this is a rough one. In Sedalia, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.